Now, this is how you can set a timer on iPad for kids. Let's get into it. So it can all be managed inside of the settings. So open up the settings and scroll down to find the screen time. And once you are in here, you have so many different things you can tweak. So if you have never been here before, it might ask you to set up screen time for the first time. So just go through the, the steps and instructions and everything, right? But once you do set it up, this is what you'll see. So your iPad will track the data and activity of whatever you do, how much time you spend doing whatever, right? So you can get the information, but also you have cool and important features like the app limits. For example, you can set an app limit for social media apps or games, entertainment, whatever it might be. You can choose a very specific app and decide that this app is only allowed to be used for 15 minutes a day, right? That's very useful. Or you also choose a downtime period. So you can schedule time away from the iPad where essentially during this period, you disable every single feature except for let's say alarm, right? So using this, you can turn on a downtime and essentially manage all of the things in here, right? And choose which apps are always gonna be allowed. So you can choose the, the phone or whatever is gonna work, but nothing else besides that. So this is how it can be managed. What's important to mention though, is that if you do it for someone else, it is a good idea to lock these settings with a passcode. There is a feature which allows you to lock the changes here with a passcode, which is gonna be different from the one to unlock the iPad, right? So you have one passcode to get inside the iPad and another passcode to tweak the screen time settings here. So that's what you need to do. Let me know below in the comments if there are more questions about it. You can also check out the channel in here where I have a lot of tutorials about like iPads and other tech products. So go ahead and do that. Subscribe if you like what you see and I'll see you in the future tutorials.